Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Hey, welcome to our show, Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. In one of our most recent episodes, we talked about values and we talked about personal values. Let's talk a little bit about why values matter inside of organizations. We had three questions that we thought each leader should be able to take inventory of themselves and answer. Who am I? What do I stand for? And what I won't compromise? Well, those same three questions pertain to an organization as well. It's important to say that you can articulate these throughout the organization. So who are we as a company? What do we stand for as an organization? And what are the things we won't compromise? Now, if you think about it, companies can do one and two really well. Every you know, organization you walk through, every cafeteria you go into, there's value statements, mission statements, 1-800 hotline numbers, who we are as a company, you know, what, we, what we stand for, what we won't compromise. And so those things are fairly well articulated inside of an organization. Number three, though, like in a personal setting, is so important in an organizational setting because if you think about companies that have had major integrity violations or major values and ethics violations, go no farther than Wells Fargo, right? Some years back, right? Volkswagen. There's household name companies that have had their issues. If we walked in the cafeteria, we would, have a, we would know who they are, clearly articulated. What they stand for, clearly articulated. How about what they won't compromise? That was the problem one, right? And so I think it's important that you clearly understand number three, and you have these conversations within your organization so everybody understands this is who we are as a company, this is what we stand for, and more importantly, these are the things we won't compromise. And if you compromise them, you've crossed a line that you may not be able to come back from. But you have to articulate that. And you people got to understand that. And then you, as the leader, you set the tone from the top by walking the talk. So when I'm out there inside an organization and I'm walking around and I see an unsafe act, or maybe I see someone in violation of one of our value ethic codes type of things, how they're talking to people, how they're addressing people. And I don't stop and have that conversation with them. And maybe I do it in, in an appropriate fashion. I, I pull them off to the side. I have that conversation. But it has to be addressed. Because if I don't, as the leader, I just silently sanction bad behavior. And I'm not allowed to do that. So remember, those three questions that you asked of yourself, who am I, what do I stand for, what I won't compromise, are the same three questions that an organization has to be able to ask, be articulated throughout the organization, and the tone for what I won't compromise has to be set by the leaders at the top. Have a great day, great to talk to you all, and I hope these episodes are helpful as you go about your daily routines.